Hello, it's Colin again, and today we are back with another episode of Sandra and Colin's Potter Emporium. And today we're going to. You keep saying, you keep forgetting. Adventures in Collecting. Thank you. Sorry. I keep forgetting to say that. Kona's um, at it again. Yes. Kanya. Kanya. So today we're going to be showing you some more plushies and also. And you um, need to shave. Yeah. And also some uh, more stuff that are downstairs. More Harry Potter. More Harry more Potter. Le Lego, sorry. Yeah, some more Lego that's downstairs. <laughs> but first we're going to show you the, uh, the plushies. <laughs> Okay, so who goes first? Okay. Let me do a... There's only one thing that I want to talk about. So these about are the plushies that we didn't show you in the episodes. This is episode four and episode three. Okay. So Colin, you see... You so can... the first one we'll show off is... Uh, now this... I um, This is, again, the Hungarian Horntail, like in the last video. But this one is actually much different. The, the Hungarian Horntail that I have, that I also have is from Universal. This one is from the Noble Collection. And this one we got from Buffalo. Buffalo, New York, Buffalo, USA. Buffalo, New York, USA. And when I saw this plush, I've actually never seen it. Like, I've never even seen this plush. Which store did we get this in? Barnes & Noble. Oh, Barnes & Noble, right. That's that's also where we got that uh, chocolate frog. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. And uh, this right here is Fluffy, the three-headed dog, which we, which is also from the Noble Collection. And, and where, who is the owner of Fluffy? Hagrid. Yes. Hagrid. He owns Fluffy. I shouldn't have told you that. <laughs> Continue. I should not have said that. But uh, anyways, <laughs> um, we also got this one in Buffalo as well. And again, I've never seen this plush anywhere else. Cool. Like when I first saw it, I freaked out because I've actually never seen this plushie. <laughs> okay. Next. And what about Nagini? Nagini is from Universal. In Florida? Yes. Now he... She. She. Sorry, she. We got her at uh, Borgen and Burke's. The store at the at, Universal. Uh, at Universal in uh, Diagon Alley. Or actually in Nocturne Alley. Yes. Cool. So what's the story behind Nagini? She's a horcrux? Um, yeah. Yes. She's one of the horcruxes. <clears throat> and why is it a she? Because uh, it's explained in Fantastic Beasts, the second movie, that uh, Nagini was a woman. Was originally a human. A human. A human woman, but yeah. uh, what was she? What was she? Uh, what's the term, mommy? I forget what it's called, but she could, when she was younger, she could at will turn into a snake and then turn back into human form. But eventually, she would would be stuck in snake form. That's the the backstory mm -hmm. behind her. Okay, next. Next. Oops, sorry about that. Buckbeak. Uh, Buckbeak, which we also got from Florida. And we've been trying to uh, purchase the only mystery mini that we have left to collect in the entire set. Which is Buckbeak. Which is Buckbeak. And no, it's in, we don't have Neville either. Isn't that part of the same set? No, I, I, th I think we have Neville. No, you're, you're thinking of Crab. We have Goyle and Malfoy, but we don't no, have... No, no, no. Neville's Toad, I meant. Oh, Toad. Oh, yeah, we don't yeah, have Yeah, we toad, don't have yeah. Neville's Toad. So. Anyways, Buckbeak is selling for as much as $500. It's a small piece of plastic. Yeah. Because it was one out of 72 in the uh, odds of getting it. And we and were we, never able to get it. We refused to pay that money. Yeah, I'm not paying that kind of money for it. It's just like this size. Yeah. That That's that big. Yeah. We'll do an episode on the Mystery Mini. Yeah, we'll do an episode on Mystery Mini. Yeah. Though. We'll tell you the backstory of that. Okay, next. And then this right here. Um, unfortunately, its wings are a bit bent because it's been uh, played with a lot. Um, this is the uh, Cornish Pixie. Cornish Pixie. Freshly pi caught Cornish Pixie. Freshly caught Cornish Pixie. And what scene? It was in Chamber of Secrets. And who was the um, professor? Gildroy Lockhart. Yes. And he tried to... Um, he tried to... Um, like for some, he stupidly released them out of their cage, and then he said, "Oh, you, come on, grab all the pixies." Well, uh, we got this in uh, in London. 
Oh no, sorry, in London. Yeah, we got this in London, London, England. And at first first Lockhart attempted to catch the pixies and put them back in the cage, but he couldn't do it. So then he kind of ran out and told uh, Harry, Ron, and Hermione to do it. Because he, yeah, well, not he just was them, so but stupid. not just them, but any of the other students, because they they couldn't, he couldn't do it himself, because he really was a lousy wizard. Mm-hmm. Okay. Exactly. Next. Don't throw it. Sorry. Uh, this right here is a kind of more of a pillow than a plush, but uh, it's plaf- it's the sign for platform nine three quarters. For the Hogwarts Express, whenever you uh, see the train on the other side. Now Nine this... and three quarters? You're trying to be funny? <laughs> and where did you get that? We got this in uh, Universal as well. Yep. And we actually found this in the uh, the um, the gift shop at the end of Forbidden Journey. Cool. That's in <clears throat> Hulk. Now, speaking of Trevor... Yeah. Here's Trevor's toad right here. Trevor is and, the toad. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Trevor is the toad. Yeah. yeah. Who does he belong to? Neville. Neville Longbottom. And this one is from London, from the studio tour. Mm, it's awfully shiny. Trevor! I noticed that, I noticed that, uh, um, <sighs> Nagini, actually, they made the plushie look shiny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, it's the next... Scales can can look shiny. Yeah, this is from uh, the studio tour in London, England. Yeah. Cool. Okay, next. And here is the small chocolate frog. And he even smells like chocolate as well. So he still smells like chocolate. He actually smells... Like chocolate. Like chocolate. And where do we get this? Uh, Studio tour. In London, England. In London, England. England. Yeah, you're right. I'm making of Harry Potter, London, England. And yeah, I can actually yeah. smell it. Too bad you can't smell. Mmm, smell, <laughs> smell. Smell, 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 smell the camera. Smell, camera. <laughs> it does smell like chocolate. How do they do that? Perfume? Okay, and last but not least. The last, and, uh, I wanted to show this one. I, I meant to show it in the last video, and I forgot. Um, this is it's a the mandrake, mandrake. and um, which is also by Noble. And you two got it for me in Barnes and Bo- Noble, Barnes, Barnes and Nobles Noble. in, in Buffalo, New York. Yeah, that's also where we got the United uh, States of of Merca. Now, and, what's really uh, special yeah. about this is when you pull it up out of the pot, it shakes. You, you, I probably can't see it, but it shakes and it cries, just like in the movie. I can hear it shaking. Oh, and then it stopped. Can you do that again? Go back up. Okay. <laughs> and I think that's really cool because I've never seen anything else like it anywhere. Is yeah. there soil inside it? No, no, no. 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 That'd be ridiculous if they. And Mandrake was from which movie? Which book? Chamber of Secrets. Chamber of Secrets. That was in. Um, the greenhouse class. And what is dangerous about mandrakes? Because uh, when they're adults, um, their screams can actually kill you. And when they're young, what happens? They just uh, make you faint. They knock you out, like mm-hmm. they did with Neville in the movie. Mm-hmm. Not a very attractive. Uh... Oh, 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 I can feel it shaking. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, um, there really is... Wow, you can really feel that shaking. Yeah, there yeah. really is a mandrake plant. There really is. The, and it has a root that in sometimes, some say it does kind of resemble a, a young per, a young baby, which is how they... Oh, um, that's how they made... How J.K. Rowling came up with it, because it is based on a real-life plant. Obviously, in real life, I don't think it has any medicinal properties. It might, I can't remember. But I just remember reading about the actual mandrake cool. root, which is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's go and do the Lego. Which is downstairs. Which we promised in episode two, I believe. Ganya! Ganya! What's this castle doing here? Oh, stop. Yeah.
There, totally avoid it. <laughs> Completely and utterly avoid it. Okay. Someone's at the door. Okay, so this is the set that we're going to talk about. It's actually four separate sets. So I'm going to talk about each set, tell you what the set number is and how many pieces, etc. Because um, it is it is four sets. And where'd you get this shirt? Uh, I don't know. You gave it to me. <laughs> oh, I don't remember where I got it. I don't remember either. Alumni. I don't remember. Is there something on the back of it too? I don't no. think so. No. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So um, I mentioned this in the other video when I talked about the other uh, Hogwarts castle is that there's no real set way that the Hogwarts castle is supposed to be laid out. As you can see, this one is really wide. The one I did in the previous video was much more compact. But um, you can organize these sets. They're designed that you can connect them however way you want. This, this is just the way that I chose to do it. But you can set it up however you want. Okay? okay. So that's, that's important. Okay. Okay, where so do we start? We'll start, we'll go from left to right. Left to right, okay. Okay. So the first one is the clock tower. And it is going to, it features scenes from the Goblet of Fire. Okay, so I will gently turn it around. I don't connect them uh, together. I just sort of sit them together because it's too hard to take them apart otherwise. And who knows what happens when you try and take them apart. Yeah. And, and they Things happen, come off, like yeah. stuff falls off. Okay. Okay, so in the... Oh, no, I'm not see? filming like a sovereign. Oh, something came off? This is the one that I lost before. Oh, boy. You don't no, want to lose it again. Okay. It's okay, but I don't want to lose it again. Yeah. Okay, now, so, what were you saying, Dad? so this is... I'm not filming like a sovereign citizen. Yeah, this, no, you're not. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is the clock tower, and um, it comes with eight minifigures, okay? So it has Harry, Ron, Hermione, Fleur, Cedric, Victor, Victor Crumb, uh, Albus Dumbledore, and Madame Maxine. That's a lot of yeah. minifigures. Yeah, just for, uh, for such a small set. Yeah. So, minifigures nowadays are going for like $20 yeah. each. So Goblet of Fire is the story of, of the Triwizard Tournament. And these particular scenes are from the uh, Yule Ball. So this Christmas tree, and these are like refreshment tables. Here's uh, Harry and Ron in their um, their wizard robes, their fancy wizard robes. If you Oh remember, yeah, this is the one. Where Ron got that, his mother bought him that yeah. really ugly old one well it came from his aunt yeah something yeah yeah now back here if you can see this is actually for people dancing cool. okay so i've got dumbledore dancing with madame maxine i've got uh hermione dancing dancing with victor, victor crumb, crumb yeah. yeah it's hitting on the other one so i can only go so far and i have fleur and and cedric dancing gotcha okay okay down here um, that is the, what is that? Oh, that's a, that's a prefix bathroom. Oh, okay. Okay. And above it mm -hmm. is Dumbledore's office. Okay. You can see there's the sort of Gryffindor. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah. And you can see Fox, I think, is a sticker on the wall in there. If you, if you could. Oh, I see it, yeah. Can you yeah. see him? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then in the other section... Uh, the top. I need to get a little bit. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. The very top one, that is the hospital wing. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. yeah. And directly below it is the Defense Against the Dark Arts um, office. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. And that uh, thing on the far left is that where the, the where they would do the ridiculous, isn't it? Um, isn't it? Where they go, it would come on there oh, no, with a ridiculous. That was a, that was a cabinet. Anyways, oh, okay. so I don't think so. There's no mention of that. Okay. And But then on the bottom one, that's the actual uh, goblet uh, of fire. See, you got to be careful. Everything falls over. The, the, that's the actual goblet of fire, and that's supposed to represent flames coming out of it. If you, if oh, you right, yeah. In the movie. yeah. And then there's just an empty chest. I don't really know. I don't remember anything about an empty chest in the movies or the books, but anyhow, there's an empty chest there. Okay. And also this here. This actually changes, if you turn it, I'll show, I'll turn this around. It changes the time on the clock tower. Okay, watch the minifigures. Yeah, I know. i got to be careful. 
because everything goes flying if I'm not careful. But if you if I turn the crank, you can see that oh, yeah, it changes yeah, yeah, the yeah. time cool. on the clock tower. Okay. Now, can you get lights for these sets? I'm not aware of anything like that. Okay. But, um, I don't know. I have no answer to that. Whoops, just knock these guys over and get them out of the way. Okay, so that's the first set. The second set is the Great Hall. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you that. Which we've been in in, yeah. in London. This first set has 922 pieces, and it's set number 75948. Okay. Okay. The second set here is the Great Hall. It also comes with Hagrid in his boat with his umbrella. Okay. Cool. All right. So the, the Great Hall. So Colin Hall, and I have been in the actual Great Hall that they filmed mm -hmm. in the movies in London, England. So this set is um, has ten minifigures. It's got Harry, Ron, Hermione, Draco, Draco, Susan Bones. I'm not really sure why they put Susan Bones in. She's a really minor character, hmm. um, but anyhow, they put her in. Still ten minifigures. Yeah. That's pretty good. Professor McGonagall, Professor Quirrell, which will show if you take you can take his turban off. You can see um, hold on. You see Voldemort on the back of his head. Okay, cool. Um, Hagrid, you see him there. Dumbledore and nearly headless Nick. Cool. <clears throat> okay. Uh, what was that? Uh... Oh yeah, we were going to show the video of him uh, getting uh, Colin. Can you get that up on your phone? The the when you when we were in uh, this uh, in Florida, and you got the oh, you we, got chosen to we, do we the. We do that in a different video when we showed the wands. Oh, okay. Yeah, not this. Don't worry about it, Colin. We're going to do that. In we're going to show video. Colin when he got chosen to. Yeah, he uh, got chosen to. Oops. To get a uh, reenact reenact the scene, a scene of uh, Harry. Uh, in uh, the wand chosen. Yeah, and the Philosopher's Stone. Okay. Philosopher's Stone? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a lot of minifigures in there. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So this set is featuring scenes from the Philosopher's Stone. Uh, as I already mentioned, here is Professor Quirrell. Whoops. Okay. I didn't mean to take the whole thing out, but I did. If you take his turban off, there's Voldemort. Voldemort. Yeah, and here's Quirrell on the And he front. said he was a parasite there. Yeah, he was. I'll have to f fix this later. It. Um, no, I'm, I can put it in now. Let's see if it'll. I can. It's often hard to do because it's so crowded. I'm likely gonna knock something else over. I'll fix it later. Okay. Okay, so we've got Fox here hanging from the banner. Cool. Okay. So um, this is nearly headless Nick. Just wanted to bring that because you don't often get anything that has nearly headless Nick in it. Beside, beside him should be um, Draco. Should be Malfoy. Yep. Yeah, and then of course Professor Quirrell, Susan Bones, Hermione, Harry, and Ron are in the front, and here's Scabbers. Scabbers. And Hedwig is right there too. Are you okay? Yeah. If you the, uh, candles, those and... are the yeah, those are the floating candles. Um, oh, this, this is where the professor sit. This is Dumbledore's uh, chair. Yep. Okay. Okay. And over here, um, this is the mirror of Erised. Is that a spider web? It is. It is. Yeah. Gee, where did that come from? It's disgusting. Yeah. That's disgusting. There's a little spider web in there. Yeah. Blasted spiders. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So that's the mirror of Aristed? Mirror of Aristed. Aristed. Yes. Okay. And what's this? This is supposed to be the treasure room. I'm not exactly sure what that represents because <clears throat> I don't recall there ever being a treasure room mentioned anywhere. Yeah, and there's a uh, the sorting, sorting hat. Is hat there. Yeah. Yes. And, and oh, look, spider. there's a spider. Maybe that spider made the spider web in there. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so, but anyhow. Okay, and Dumbledore is doing what? That's that's Dumbledore's... Um, sorry, that's the potions room. I don't oh, okay. know why I put Dumbledore in the potions room, but I did. And Maybe then you didn't this, have room in the great hall. This is really cool because it's um, stairs. Oh, cool. Come out. Now, didn't they have to say a potion for this, or those are just regular? Wasn't there uh, not a potion, a spell yet to... 
Uh, to get up or the Dumbledore's pa- office, yeah. 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 yeah, but that's just the potions room. I okay. just, you know, I didn't know where else to put them, so I okay. put them there. Okay. All right, good. Okay. Next. All right, so let's just move this back. Kona Who's barking? Wants, Kona wants to play with a... With a uh, Colin! Toy. Can you throw a toy? Yeah. Just get find a toy for Kona because he wants. Well, you gotta it. fix. Uh... I'll fix it later okay. after we're done with the video. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So now the next set. So this oh, is the third I... set. Okay. Sorry. Did I say the Great Hall has 878 pieces? Right. It's set number seven five nine five four. Okay. Okay. So this this next set. Did you figure out how many pieces are for all four sets? Uh, I didn't add them up. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this is called the Whomping Willow set. Okay, and it it's got 753 pieces, and it's set number seven five nine five three, and it's got scenes from the Chamber of Secrets. This this if you look here in the Fort Anglia, we've got Harry and Ron sitting in there. I can only see Harry. Well, and Ron's Ron's in there. I can take this out. Yeah, take it out. Yeah, let's take it. Got Ron. They're not sitting very good, but I just plunked them in. And Harry. And you can move these, the Whomping Willow's branches around. Cool. And you can make it go back and forth. Cool. Like, like it did in the movie, and it shook and everything in the movie. The branches seem a little bit smaller than what it is on the movie, so. Yeah, well, yeah. hey. I guess they made it just so you can get the car. I there. didn't design the set. <laughs> oh, I'm not complaining yeah. to you, I'm just yeah. saying. Let's <clears throat> that out of the way. This is the Basilisk. So that's pretty cool, all made out of Lego pieces. That is cool. Yeah. That's from Chamber of Secrets. Yes. Now there are six... And then ma- the skeleton was in uh, one of the movie book. I forgot which one. Uh, when oh. it was just a skeleton. Oh, yeah. That's in the... Um, the um, my brain is dead. The Phoenix? Last, Order of Phoenix? Or? No, the last one. Deathly Oh, Deathly Hallows, Hallows, yeah. yeah. Do a blink. Yeah, yeah because snake. they went down and they grabbed the, the tooth. To right. Oh, to kill the Horcrux, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, this, yeah, this has, this set has six minifigures. So there's Harry, Ron, Hermione, Seamus Finnegan, Mr. Filch, which he, he that's Filch down there, Snape. Um, and Filch is a uh, squib. Yes, he is a squib. Yeah. He's born of a magical family, but he has no magical powers. So Just that's like in Fantastic Beasts with Credence, but he he's not a squib. Um, well, no, Credence isn't a squib. Yeah, he's... but but uh, Graves said, "Oh, you're a squib. You have no magic." Well, he was calling him that. Yeah, but he wasn't be- because he was being... he was wrong. Well, he's just being a jerk. Okay, so here. But Graves is actually uh, Grindelwald. Yeah, Grindelwald in disguise. Okay, so here we have. Let's just turn this around. Okay, so let's go uh, left to right. Um, let's do it. Oh, wow, there's actual... Uh, was that stickers or was that Where? imprinted into the, the, the newspaper? That? No, it came that way. That's good. So, yeah, it's, it's a daily profit. The less profit. stickers, the better. Yeah, it's a daily profit. So that's the... Um, that's... Which one is that? That's Snape's office. Okay. This is just a, um, what do you call it? Just a bridge or whatever. Yeah, I forget what you call Archway, it. Archway, yeah. Yeah. This is the Gryffindor dormitory. Sorry. <laughs> this is supposed to be the Owlry. Um, I put Hed- Hedwig up there. Cool. And this is the potions classroom. Now, this is like the storage room. You know where Snape would keep all of his store, all of his various ingredients, and then there's the classroom. Okay. okay. Good. And where's Snape? Oh, yeah, I saw Snape in the bit, yeah. Oh, come on. Snape's right there. Yeah. Colin, can you throw something or. He always has to yeah. get, in the, get in the video. Okay, so this final set. Professor Snape. This is the Astronomy Tower. It's got 971 pieces, and it's set number 75969. And it has scenes from the Half-Blood Prince, 
It's got eight minifigures, Harry, Hermione, Ron, Professor Horace Slughorn, Luna, Neville, Lavender Brown, and Draco. Wow. And it doesn't look like almost a thousand pieces, but yeah, I know because don't forget each of these tiny pieces is Counts as a piece. Yeah. Is a piece, right? So these, if you remember from the movie, Slughorn always liked to have um, parties, right? Right. So this is from his party, and this is Neville. You remember Neville was serving drinks, right? So that he could go to the party. Oh, that's when uh, the Hermione's date. Oh she, yeah. Yeah. Threw up on uh, Snape's shoe. Yeah, and he he was. Colin, like, what did he say? Um, Professor Slughorn, sir, I just discovered this boy lurking in an upstairs corridor. He claims that he was invited to your party. Okay, I was gate crashing. Happy. <laughs> I'll escort him out. Now, what about when uh, he he threw up on his shoe? Do that. Oh yeah. Okay, so here's here's the greenhouse and it's got mandrakes inside and it's really oh, nah. it's really cool because the glass windows actually oh, nah. open up just like in a in a real greenhouse. Oh that's cool. Oh, those are the mandrakes that we showed upstairs. Yeah. yeah. And if I can get this out without, I tried to take one out earlier and it's broke. Really, no, no, no. It, well, it's really awkward because they're so tiny. Oh, the mandrake. Yeah. yeah. I can just but, fill it. Don't worry. Oh, you go. No, because I wanted to show that he actually has a face. Oh, he does. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. He's not just a Lego piece with green on top. He actually has a face. That's cool. But, I'll leave that. Okay. So, <laughs> and the windows pop out. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Um, let me see. I, I did it yesterday. Thing is, the mandrakes are in the way. But oh, there you go. There you go. go. Cool. There you, go. you have to have small, small. Yeah. Hands and all the windows do that. Do the top windows do it too? I don't think so. Okay. No, they don't. Okay. Okay. Cool. So. If you go, if you start from the top here. Who's that, Ginny want... or Hermione? No, that's, um, no, that's, um, 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 what's her name? What's her name? Lavender. Lavender, right, yeah. Yeah. That's the one that was all over Ron. Okay, so where do you want to? Ouch! Okay, so come back here. So this is actually the, the, the potions classroom. Remember, that's where the party was held, and that's the door into the classroom. So these are the potions. Right. Okay, this is just stuff hanging around <laughs> um it's not Looks really like pumpkin watermelon yeah it does it does i think they're supposed to be lanterns of some oh, sort okay okay i'm not really sure and this is the office of uh, slughorn cool this is the ravenclaw dormitory cool and then in two sections up here, that's all the astronomy, where the astronomy class was held. Right. So they had, remember they would look through the telescopes as part of their exam. They had to look through telescopes and mark cool. things down. Is that a sticker or is that an uh, imprint? Which, which are, oh, this here? Yeah. Um, no, it's not a sticker. It doesn't feel like a sticker. Good. Okay. Is that it? Or? Yes, that's it. We've oh, got, you put Harry over there? Yeah, and I stuck Draco in the back there. And oh, yeah. remember, he wasn't really part of the party. And I put Ron over there and Harry with Hedwig there. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Is that it? Yes. Fantastic. Okay, so the next episode... You're going to have to put this all back together. Yeah, I will. Hmm. Next episode, we're going to do some... Uh, I think you said you want to do some Funko Pops. So I don't know if we've shown this. Uh, you built this. I don't know if it'll show very well because of the reflection from the light. Yeah, but this is a 3D uh, a, puzzle you just it's, completed. It's like a holographic puzzle. You're going to glue it together. And... Yeah, I'm getting... I ordered some glue paper that I can glue it together. So I... Oh, oh sorry. That's cool.
So we'll do some Funko Pops. Not sure exactly how we want to approach it. We've got so many. Got so many, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. Do it slowly but surely. Yeah, this is a lot of Funko Pops. And they yeah. came from all over the world, all over North America, all over England, everywhere. Yeah, we have a lot of them. All right. Oh, uh, so you built this? Yeah, I just built. I just finished building this, the Monster Book of Monsters. It came with Draco. <laughs> cool. So. And then you've got uh, a few more to do. A bunch more. They're, over to there. they're totally sold out. Yeah. They were sold out after forty-eight hours. Okay. So is that it? Yes. So that's episode four. Hope you enjoyed it. And next will be uh, pops. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're gonna do some wands, and we'll we'll tell you about uh, yeah, the noble wands. The venture we had getting them. Yes. Okay. 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 Bye. Bye, everyone. See you in episode five. Bye. Bye.